Hi folks, it's me again. This is an amendment video to the one I posted showing you how to make your own digital readout for your thicknesser. Apparently, not all thicknesses are the same as mine. Whereas on my thicknesser, the cutting blades go right down to the bed. Okay, but not all thicknesses do that. There's most thicknesses or some thicknesses, there's a gap okay, between the bed and the blade. Maybe you can, I don't know why this is, maybe you can comment, you know, leave me a comment telling me why manufacturers do this. You know, it might be, it'll be a good idea to find out because I certainly don't know. But anyway, okay, anyway, um, a friend of mine brought his, he done, he followed my, my um, tutorial, he made his own digital readout, and then he went to sort of like put his stock through and found out that it wasn't coming out right. So he brought it to me and asked me to sort of like come up with a fine solution to rectify it. So, so this is how you rectify that solution if your cutting blades don't go right down to your bed by the time the pincers are closed or showing zero when they're closed. Okay, what you do is you is you close your pin you you wind you wind your thickness are down until the pincers on the digital readout are closed okay now you you reset your digital calipers showing zero okay then you run a stock piece of wood through okay and then what you do is you measure you measure the thickness of that stock and you drop that down on a bit of paper okay and then you you take a reading from from your digital readout and then you jot that down on a piece of paper okay and the digital readout will show less than what your stock is so all you basically do is you put in a calculator if you're not very good at maths or if you or if your brain box work it out and work it out in your noggin like you subtract the reading on your digital calipers from the reading of your stock that you ran that you ran through your thicknesser and then that will give you the height the height or how high the blade is from the cutting i mean sorry how how high the blade is from the bed okay for instance on my my mates it turned out that when i went and done all that there was a 4.9 millimeter difference so I just basically, let me just show you, let me just turn the camera around. As you can see, I just put a little note on there. Oh, well, I didn't, this isn't his, this isn't mine, but this is what I've done. I just put a note on there saying, readout shows 4.9 millimeters less. Okay, now the old, and then, then every time you want to do a stock piece, um, all you do, but all you do is you wind it up. Basically, say I want to do uh, my final stock piece is I want to do a 50 mil final stock. Okay, then I I basically have a calculator to hand, and I and I put in 50 millimeters, take away 4.9, and then that will give me 45.1. Millimeters, okay. Then I just wind my, make sure my cal my pins on my calipers are shut and it's been zero. Now I just I just wind it up to to until the readout reads forty five point one, remembering that that difference, and then I zero zero it, and then I carry on as normal, and it will all be to my final uh, measurement. Um, I hope that's clear and clear for you. If it isn't. Uh, I apologize I haven't made it clearer but you can always comment me and ask me to explain it or write it down or write the steps down and email at you or what have you so anyway thanks very much cheers